In one Arlington neighborhood, an impromptu snowball fight turned into an all-out war between kids and adults. Rachel Sher was in the middle of the battle and joins us live with more. Rachel, what was this about? Well, Morris, I can tell you it was a lot of fun. Now, I know this weather, you know, it's not ideal for driving conditions. But earlier today, at least, this snow had the perfect consistency for making snowballs. And so earlier today at Penrose Square, they had no shortage of ammo. Sometimes we find ourselves in the middle of a losing battle. And for David Gaines, it's that kind of day. It's kids that are the problem today. Somebody just hit me with a snowball. Virginia State Delegate Alfonso Lopez is used to dodging shots from Republicans, but today the enemy's much harder to spot. And you're actually going to be the target. Uh, no, I'm not. Everyone is the target. It's a collective target. Take seven-year-old Gabe, for example. He may look sweet and innocent, but his behavior becomes, well, unpredictable. Normally, I'm playing Angry Birds or um, Lego Star Wars, uh -huh. and I'm getting annoyed by all this. <laughs> and here at Penrose Square, it's all about strategy. And by strategy, we mean making the perfect snowball. Sean Moore is here to show me how it's done. His secret, it's all about the scoop, the sweep, the lift, and the throw. Does size matter? Sometimes. The impact Aaron Lopez can attest to. I don't know, really dangerous. I get hit in the butt 12, 13 times, 14 times. The blows keep on coming, but everyone wears their bravest face. This guy? because there's no day like a snow day to bring out the 12 year olds in everyone. But boy, what a day for a snowball fight, eh? Oh, gotta go. That guy was awesome. And you know, uh, Morris, this really was a lot of fun. A lot of kids out there throwing these snowballs. So for now, Morris, we're gonna throw it back to you. <laughs> Reporting live in Northwest Washington, Rachel Share, News Channel 8.